All right. Uh, I realized that last time I was a bit, uh, my last video, I was a bit uh, unclear about what I meant. I was talking about the different attacks that you can do from, uh, from the guards, that they should come from your guards and that they shouldn't, you know, come from these kind of things. And I said that these don't exist. That's of course wrong. <laughs> I was very, un very unprecise in this. What I mean is that when you're using the guards, then your attacks must come from the guards. So then, of course, they will come and come in like this. The good thing is that then you can step behind usually, either shuffling or taking a full step to come behind it. Now then you gain enough power so that that's not really a problem. However, of course, when you come into positions where you grab your opponent and you, already, and you want to go in and, and hit them from this position, for example, then, yes, you go from, from the full power. And actually, this portrays back to, to the video I made about a year ago about how the rondel dagger must be used, that it, it relies on heavy thrusts or heavy stabs. Now, you can get the heavy stab here because you are stepping in behind it. But once you're close, you kind of have to go hard and big. And this is actually exactly, funnily enough, almost the opposite that most people tend to do when they spar. Because the closer they get, the shorter the attack tends to be. <laughs> Which is opposite of what we should do. So, again, to reiterate, I, I think that our attacks with the dagger, if we are following Meyer, now of course, you may have an opponent that doesn't follow Meyer. And, and then you cannot dictate what your opponent is going to do. But if you're going to attack in, in accordance with the system, I believe that your attacks should be uh, based on that, that you should attack from the guards and not revert to things like this, because it's, it's not in the guards. You could be here, which is technically a middlehood, an attack, but you shouldn't be going all the way back chambering like you would do in, in for example, Kali or, or things like this. I think you shouldn't do that when you are using the guards. But once you are outside the realm of the guards, i.e. into binding or trapping, then of course you need the big hammers. And also Meyer specifically says that uh, on several occasions uh, thrust at him any way you like, which is exactly that, any way you like. So, uh, again, from these positions, I, rec I think that if we're going to be true to the system, our, our attacks should be based within, the, for, directly from the guards and not loading from other positions. Once you are grappling, then that doesn't matter. Then you probably need the big, heavy uh, levers. So I hope this made sense and made things a bit clearer. Thank you.